with speed. Speed allows me to take part in the offense more than I ever have before with Yukio. So I think flip side, they're feeling good. And I wouldn't write this one off as a Dignitas victory just yet. It was definitely the big question because, again, they had some data about why they chose Speed. They feel like he fits into the play style that that team already uses as a dynamic. And I kind of said, I mean, yeah, I can understand why the data would lead you to that point. However, Speed did it against completely different people not at the top level of play. But to see him step up here and do quite well is nice. All right, guys. Well, we are going to get into that game, of course. Olala and Wei Punk are in the commentary booth. Take it away. Dignitas versus Flipside. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Flipside and Dignitas, two teams of the same region that have played against each other time and time again. Dignitas coming off of the best year a team could possibly have, making a roster move and picking up one of Flipside's players. So it talks about the championship mentality, first or nothing. That's what they're trying to complete here. Let's see how it goes against his old roster. Yukio, the one to watch. You got Flipside in the blue. Dignitas in the orange in the best of five here, and a critical one to get up to three wins in the group. Both of these teams currently sitting at two, so the winner of this would be the de facto first place for the moment. We'll see how they're able to pull it off. Turbo and Violet Panda trying to tag team it with Yukio now rolling in. And up into the corner. The question on the day was, is Yukio right for Dignitas? So far, he has been a player that was kind of birthed through, through fire on flip side. They put him in situations where he had to make plays and he pulled it off. And now he's in a situation where if he doesn't make off the play, there's two other players with multiple world championships under their belts to get it for him. I mean, he learned a lot of things from that team. A lot of his issues were double commits with him and Cookser. And it was just simply a communication problem. They worked through that and it's really showing. You see they're all smiles now on the side of Dignitas laughing with Turbo Pulse, which is almost impossible not to do. So. Clearly the dynamic is there. These guys are bonding really well and it's showing in their gameplay as both him and Violent Panda having no issue setting him up. Ooh, Speed and Mystic up on the offense, looking for the shot, but Violent Panda will get the save. Cooks are looking to extend the play. Back into the corner once more, now off the backboard. Into the box, no challenge from the rest of his team. They'll fall back on defense. Speed now in the corner, Mystic get one and takes the play out to Cookser here in open net. Can he find the target on target? But Violet Panda gets the save. He's already gotten three in this game. So we're scoreless moving into the third minute. Violet Panda out to Yukio. Speed getting this one back to Mystic. Cookser rotating in behind him. He'll be the next to the ball. Speed lurking in the midfield, looking to hopefully clean this up. Turbo Pulsa puts it high. Looking to transition on the offense. Violent Panda airborne as well. Here's Cookser. Carrying it by himself. Towards the box, Turbo with the clear. Across halftime, still nobody scoring yet in this match. Already so far, quite a few mistakes coming across Ooh. as a shot, almost going to the back of the net. Just played a little bit wide, but Cookser's going to bring that back down. Decides to go underneath rather than over the top. He saw two players in target. Rather than trying to force it, he's trying to bait somebody out on defense, open up an opportunity for his teammates. Speed playing bully in the corner. Cooks around to the backboard and gets a bump. Oh, trying a bump. to open it up here. Here goes the shot. Mystic will put it in. That's 1-0 now for Flipside. Just some happenstance coming through. Gets the initial touch pass one and then flips into the other. Bumps it out, just gets the follow from Mystic. He talked about it. he loves the fact that Speed allows him to get more involved in the offense than he ever has been. You see him getting involved there. They're up in the first goal. 2-0-3 still left in game number one. Plenty of time for Dignitas to tie it up. They get a good kickoff. Now Violent Panda towards the goal, looking to play it under Mystic, but can't make it happen. The Scotsman will send it away. Yukio now airborne. Here comes more pressure from Turbo. Mystic now with lots of space. Carrying this, looking for the fake. Violent Panda doesn't bite. Swapped it into the midfield. Cooks her up against Yukio. Dunks it over the top of his former team captain. Now into the corner. Violent Panda with a miss. Turbo up on one. Now back. Yukio rotating in midfield. Nobody pressuring him. He's going to be able to take a lofter towards the net. Cookster gets the clear. Speed tries to extend the play, but can't find anything off the wall. And Turbo puts it back into the corner. Violent Panda in midfield will try, but Mystic with a nice bump. Pop that one high. And Cookster off the backboard. Out towards Mystic. 1.13 on the clock. Mystic looking for the fake, but doesn't get anything. Mind games galore being attempted by Flipside, but nobody on Dignitas falling for him. Yukio picks up ball control, but it's taken from him by speed. And now Mystic with the clincher trying to make it a two-goal game. Goes off the crossbar now to follow up from speed. High near the goal as well, but defended. 
Now dropping back down again in front of the box. Here comes Cookser for the third and final attempt. Can he get it away? No, this time it's clear by Yukio, and we'll be back out to midfield. Still a lot of pressure coming in from Flipside. That's something that's not easily done against a team like Dignitas. But they're able to maintain a lot of pressure. You talked about those fakes coming out. That's something that they have to be conditioned to. The more and more they go for those, the more times that the rest of the team at Dignitas is going to be like, okay, he's going to fake it here. And the one time they don't, that becomes a pass or something else. It opens up a lot of opportunities for Flipside on, on offense. I'm glad to see them working it in early. It's something that is well respected here, as these guys obviously know what Dignitas is capable of. Final 20 seconds of game number once. We'll see if Dignitas pulls off some last second heroics here. Only need one to tie it up and send us to overtime. They've got the ball. Now onto the backboard. Mystic needs to make the play, and he gets it away, but a little bit. But Turbo Pulls are now in. Cookster gets it clear, but it's straight down town. Yukio, it's over the top of his head, and they can't get it moving the right direction. Into the corner. Cookster should be able to kill this one off the hood of Violent Panda onto the ground. And Flipside Tactics takes game number one. Not to discredit, I do enjoy the respect of rule number two coming out in full fledged. Both those guys lock in and stay in. Obviously, the community thinks that's rule number one, but rule number one is keeping the ball up in the air. Before, that was actually an easy thing to do. The but golden rule. Yeah. Always keep it there. So flip side, getting a little bit, at least in game number one, getting a little bit of revenge on Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed, trying to do his part here, but struggling to get involved. Didn't find anything on offense there. It's all right. Didn't need it. Cooks are mystic. Locked in the only goal they needed. Yeah, really good job done by Flipside on offense. They wanted to come out strong. It has been one of their plaguing issues in the past where they always give up game one and then they have to battle back, this time starting off strong. But you're checking the poll results here. A lot of people asking who's going to win, and apparently all they needed was the first two matches of the day to figure it out for <laughs> Dignitas. A lot of friends, three-fourths pretty much going on their side. Yeah, Flipside trying to play spoiler here, taking game number one, only needing two more to be the top of their group. Speed, they're talking about him being an adrenaline junkie. He, uh, he is attempting to get his rally license in England. He wants to go do rally racing. Ah, uh, no thank you. <laughs> that is some scary stuff. You know what's interesting? He's not the first Rocket League player that does rally. Yeah, Greasy Meister yeah. also does rally racing. I don't know if they've ever had a conversation about it, but Maybe either way. teammates. One can call the shots, the other one can drive. Cool. If he likes, you know, playing around with cars in the dirt, Rocket League's a good <laughs> substitute for the meantime. Here comes Speed looking for Mystic. Gets a pass. One Mystic's there. Sends the shot home, and that's the first goal for Flipside early in game number two. That delayed touch actually working out perfectly. Pops it up to himself, and that slight hesitation draws one in. It forces Turbo to come make that challenge. That's all they need to do with those passes. Draw one out, open up an opportunity, and then Mystic again up on offense. Kind of reminds me of Remco moving up for TSM. Great to see it out of that third man. Dignitas, excellent kickoff game. Shut down by speed into the corner. Now pass back in field. Turbo was nearly there, but it was intercepted. Now Mystic looking for his second goal. This one shut down by Yukio. Be able to extend the play. Now into the corner. A one-on-one -on -one against Speed. Onto the wall, and Speed puts it to the corner. Violent Panda now back in the middle. Yukio looking for contact, but Cookster's got it away, and Turbo Pulsa will bail Dignitas out. Mystic now across the top. Yukio off of his own backboard. We'll find Turbo out in front. The ball will be at midfield. Putting this high, Turbo Pulse intercepts. Back down to Violent Panda, leaves it for Yukio. Up for the shot now, pass across to Turbo. Turbo was not ready for that at all. Started to back away, trying to turn around, see if he can salvage the play. Also, they caught flips out a little off guard as well. So they've struggled to transition out. The pass inwards, Yukio keeps it on the ground. Cookster gets the clear. Cookster passed one. Just secure towards speed. Yukio now up to the corner. Speed, he'll just carry this one down. Having to work really hard just to get this out of the blue half at all. Flip side, a little bit suffocated. Speed looking for bumps. Violent Panda onto the wall here. It'll be Yukio to try and continue to play and get it back into the blue. They've had a lot of ball control on flip side's half, but no goals to show for it here in game one or two. A lot of time to spend up on offense. Just subtle touches. You see those fakes still being worked in by Mystic. They don't really get anything from it. That pass over was more of just a toss away. But it does allow the teammates to get back, grab some boost, get back in position. But Dig Toss holding on well, still keeping a one goal game. It's been close so far because we had two minutes in. Notable number of demolitions on both sides. Nice bumps from Mystic. Speed will clean it up on the opening. And now a two goal lead. Flip side shutting out Dignitas so Looks far. Looks like he actually wanted to pass this. He comes across and tries to get a touch on it, but ends up rolling straight through. Not sure what the true intention was, but it works out. Good job by Speed utilizing that name as he comes in flying yeah. putting that goal away. Speed and Mystic getting work done. 
Pretty certain Mystic has scored all the goals so far. So far, he has. It's kind of been the crazy thing, too, is you, we want to talk about, like, how is Yukio going to flip in? They're willing to change their play style because a lot of it has been Turbo and Violent Panda oh. setting him up as he sneaks it under the crossbar. Mystic with another one. Hat trick for Mystic and the playmaker for speed. Speed to Mystic, three goals up and down right now as we approach halftime. Dignitas struggling. They've gotten the ball out of their half. They've spent a lot of time in flip side territory, especially here in game two, but just nothing to show for it. It's been a weird balance, too, for Flipside. Obviously, they had a really close series against Afterthought. If you're looking at the picture-in-picture uh, -picture of all the players, you look at Afterthought right now in overtime with Chiefs. It's been a battle Ooh. five minutes in. Top right, you got Energy at G2. Energy looking like a dominating performance, already up 2-0 as well with a game. But there it is, finally, Chiefs. Looks like they're going to get the win. Zen, the key KBM player, the second one of the team, closing it out for them. Great pass across midfield. Chiefs trying to find a victory to hang their hat on before the end of the day. That's a good start. And El Clasico of NRG G2 getting underway as well. But here, battle of the old European guard, Dignitas and Flipside. And right now, it's all the boys in green. Turbo and Violet Panda, a bit of a double commit and easily shut down on the 1v2 by Cookser. Yukio, a great long clear and a good pass from Turbo, but shut down again. Mystic gets this one away, and now Yukio trying to get the backwards play. Creative passing and good pressure from Dignitas. Just no goals, a miss on defense, and still Mystical shut the door. Just keeps on slamming it in their face over and over again. Looks like just the windows of opportunity Dignitas has just aren't quite wide enough for them. Cooks are into the corner. Violent Panda off the wall, it'll be Turbo out to Yukio. Mystic in to intercept, but Yukio gets it past him. Now past one. There's Yukio again. Oh my goodness, they got the demolitions and everything, and yet the defense was still there. Flipside playing perfect defense. No, it was great plays by both Speed and Mystic. Speed comes across and makes the save, but then allows his teammate to get the corner boost that he desperately needs as he's retreating back. And then it just works in perfect succinct. He goes up the wall, he plays it downfield, they get it clear. But Dignitas is doing a good job of responding. The only difficulty is they've been down by three and haven't been able to find anything for the Ooh, offense until go. I speak and curse it. Great play coming out from Dignitas. Beautiful pass. Turbo here on the wall as Yukio passes it up to him, gets it right back down to him. A one, two, one, and in. Dignitas finally on the board. 46 seconds left. Definitely possible for the comeback, but not likely. Flipside was able just to hold them off for a little too long. Yeah, the difference this time, Turbo had a couple pass plays just either not far backing off the top of the 18 for a shot to come across, or someone on his team just not there to follow up this time. Falling in pursuit, Yukio is right there to take the target. They put it away, but 30 seconds left. They need to find something here to play into that zero second time. Yukio onto the backboard. Cooks her. Solid contact. Turbo Pulsar winning a challenge in midfield. But nobody following it up. Mystic happy to hold onto the ball and burn the time off the clock. Speed will take another shot. Turbo will make the save. It's all a little too little, too late. Ten seconds left. They need to go immediately. And then some magic off of kickoff. And at this point, Mystic just pulled it onto his own backboard, burn everything that's left off that ticker. Three to one victory. Flip side now up by two in the series. Dignitas, one goal to their name so far. Well done by flip side. Obviously, they're trying to prove a point here that obviously losing Yukio is not a fun thing, but speed has been the right answer. Obviously, he is on loan right now from another RLCS team, Red yeah. Reserve. Basically, his tryout and the fact that he isn't showing those nerves and he's fitting in quite well. He was a player that caught my attention when they were playing in the promotion relegation system where very methodical in his decisions, very capable of that, which I think works interesting with the team because that's how Mystic normally plays and they want obviously more offense. So the fact that he's able to move up and he's showing his worth, I mean, you see it here, obviously he's only shooting 25%, but it's still enough to get goals. Uh, I, I called, I called that Mystic made a hat trick in that. Speed scored the first goal. I was completely wrong about that, but Speed, it excellent work here in this game. You just forget about him. That's a good thing about it, right? He just catches you off guard. That's what he wants. That's what he wants, exactly. So after game two, we can check in with some other games here. This is Chiefs versus Afterthought. We saw the end of the first game where it went to over five minutes. They basically played two games in the first one there. Now here in game two, Chiefs already up on another three minutes left. And this is the team, unprecedented, two keyboard players on the same team. 
and Zen. Very different situations here. Zen and Speed kind of filling in at the last moment on their respective rosters. But Speed doesn't feel any pressure. Excited just to be here, playing fantastic. Zen's been playing pretty well as well, but he definitely, the first thing he said to me when I talked to him yesterday was, I got some big shoes to fill. He I mean, feels anything's it. better than Yummy Cheeseman, in my opinion, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, also could, another KBM player. So, I mean, it I mean, could be worse, yes. You know, it's hit and miss here and there, but no, no offense to Yummy. We love you. We're glad you're here, but. I love him. Much rather take uh, Zen's mechanical abilities and put those to the test. So, obviously, after thought, fighting with her all, they're able to keep it close, but falling short over time. Still a one goal game, plenty of time left. Because right now, both these teams sitting at 0 2. Boxer puts one in, they'll tie it up. And both these teams, no wins yet. And if they lose this, they're pretty much guaranteed out for day two. So, this is a must win, and they have to win out from here. Yeah, great placement from there as well. Rather than taking their immediate shot, you saw him backflip out of it. Besides the play it across the teammate, placement afterwards was the good part. Top right makes it really difficult to save. The defender not able to sweep in and get it because he's trying to read two players. So great job by Afterthought taking advantage of a 2v1. This one lofted high. Hawks are chasing it. From the top here comes Mist on the pressure. But good challenges from Chiefs. Continue. Get this one out of their half. Mist was looking for the bumps. Does he find the goal? Did he just save that? I think it might have been in shock. will finish it off for him anyways, but a strange play from Afterthought. Yeah, he was playing that down. He actually ends up bumping the goalie, but he th I think he <laughs> thinks Zen is going to be the one to recover in time, which it looks like he does. So trying to redirect right, trying to redirect it in the net, not an easy touch. It ends up working off the there, backboard. There's also the slim margin. It would have hit the crossbar and just kind of bounced there. So he opts for the pass to his teammate, and they get the lead here. Afterthought now leading Chiefs. 140 left to go in game number two. Hawks are off of his wall. Good pressure from Zen. Shock will pick up ball control, but immediately deleted. It's Kami now through the air. Miss tries. Can't find anything. Another solid save missed in net. Got the first one away. Had to get a second one. The pressure continues from Chiefs. Right now, Afterthought really struggling to find ball control in their own half. They'll go for the clear. It only makes it out to midfield. This one drops down. Hawks or tries, but Torsas has other ideas. Missed. Excellent wall play. Give it to Shock now in the corner. Does he find the angle? Couldn't quite wrap it around the post. In the final minute, Afterthought just looking to secure this victory. Up by one now. Trying to make it two. Orsas off the ceiling. Hoxer picks it up. Kami to Zen. Missed backwards. Through Torsas, now over to Hoxer. And this ball controls exactly what Afterthoughts needs. If they can get another goal, it'll basically secure this one. But the next best thing is just dictate the play. Hold on to control. Force Chiefs to react to you. Yeah, too many times you see teams when they're up by one. Just try to go for long clears and expend boost, but what that does is it basically forces you on your own half, and you're limiting your own boost. Ooh. So they need to be careful. As the one gets played across, unfortunately, Shock not there. He's going to uh. go the passive route. Kills a lot of time here. Five seconds yeah. left, though. Brilliant play by Shock. Saw the double commit coming in and goes, you guys can do whatever you want with this. I'll react to uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. And he puts the ball into the ground there. Afterthought, take a game, tie it up, and now back into Flipside versus Dignitas. Only missed about 20 seconds. A nice shot from Yukio. Dignitas will finally have the lead. Perfect timing on that shot. Perfect timing to come back to the feature match. Pass across immediately to Turbo, but instead of playing, it goes off the backboard and sets up to that third team. Everybody getting involved on offense. And Dignitas, that much needed break, able to bounce back. Dignitas has been playing these kickoffs amazing. And they finally get a goal out of it. I was going to say, I've been seeing them win those kickoffs over and over again, but they had yet to actually convert right after the kickoff. And here, finally, Yukio with a kill. Turbo pulls it with a shot. Now up by two. Interesting to see them go for double boost in the corners as well. They're down by one. Usually you want to cheat up on the kickoff. So the initial 50-50 coming in, having someone follow that up. They're trying to basically neutralize that kickoff and maintain possession. They both back off and get boost, but it leaves their net wide open. Whew. Flip side looking to respond. Fisher will drop this one down. The guillotine coming through. A mystic can't quite there as you speed to finish it off home, man. So much action all at once. And flip sides on the board. Again, so much pressure on offense. But that placement from Cookser for that pass 
absolutely perfect. Using that corner on the top, dropping it straight down in front of the net. Everybody talks about it. It's the worst place to be when you're trying to make a save. Usually you want to go on the backboard and come across field for it, but the fact that it's right above them puts it in an awkward spot. Ooh. Makes it easy for speed uh, as they're about to tie it up, but a save from Yukio. It's not over yet. Sir, coming in to find the shot, and Yukio gets it again. A brilliant play as Flipside finally had a dominant win on kickoff, and they tried to make use of it immediately, but Yukio had other ideas. 4.03 now, an exciting first minute to game threes. We've had three goals already. Flipside now. We'll get to watch them play from behind against Dignitas. So far, all we've seen is them Great clear. playing in the lead, and Cooks are definitely getting warmed up as the day's going on. Violent Panda getting over the top of one, maybe two with that contact. Now onto the backboard, Cooks are out to speed. Flying down the field, looking for one more. Yukio now playing into the corner. Here comes the pass to Mystic, looking for the soft touch into the corner, but couldn't quite get that angle. The Violent Panda Turbo tag team it out. Just the approach that he's trying to make, going across field and playing it back. Almost impossible to get the power on it, but still put in a threatening spot, forcing someone to make a save. Dignitas yet again, fends it off, plays it in the middle. But you're starting to see Turbo, the way that he's approaching the offense, they're actually sending two. Sometimes Yukio is actually skipping his rotation and going for a demo to open up something. But it's actually oh. gonna work. Yeah, what a rebound from Cookser. Look at Cookser. As he starts to rotate, realizes he has an opportunity to score, and he puts it together, and just like that, speed to Cookser, a tie game. His flip side comes back from behind. That's just a happenstance. The ability to rotate back in. Normally, he's the man that's supposed to come back out and let Mista come in, but this is a very situational game. He's in the right place. He has to turn on it. Oh, can he do it? Violent Panda. That kickoff comes through once more. They've got this pressure on. Turbo looking for it. Now the pass across. Cookshire will look to intercept. He'll pick it up. Violent Panda playing it back down to the ground. Stick and Toss was hunting for demos. Didn't find anything. Mystic stalls the play, but Turbo now onto the backboard. Violent Panda in. Pass one. Yukio out of the corner. Putting it high. Here's Turbo looking for his teammate. Upfield bumped by Cookser. Violent Panda down. Turbo through one. Couldn't get it through two, but Yukio picks it up, looking for the double tap himself, running a little bit low on boost. It's not going to matter. His speed takes it away from him. Now Mystic. Holding on to this. Low in the tank as well. Yukio flying back across, gets it through one. Turbo with an excellent pass back. He's low on the boost, but can he find anything? He's got both jumps to work with, as always. And oh my goodness, they nearly get the pool shot to put it in. I'm curious you got that corner boost. Obviously a lot of action coming across, but it all starts with Turbo. He's actually rotating back and that soft touch back outside to his teammate. Even though he's got no boost, he's rotating out. He still makes perfect plays out of a position that technically he shouldn't be touching. So Dignitas trying to pull all the stops out, trying to find something as a shot coming oh. across from Mystic met by Turbo. Huge block from Turbo. Both his teammates have committed up on the wall. And we're very much out of the play. It was all up to Turbo to keep this at a tie game. Now Turbo in the midfield looking for an opportunity. So we check in with all the other games. Overtime, it looks like right now with G2. And energy. energy. Yep, elimination match, big one on the line. Energy's up 2-0, trying to close this out. They've had a lot of offense coming across. Shots have been definitely in their favor. G2 playing this crazy counterattack style. Hasn't been too easy, though, as energy just peppering shots in one after another. 102 left to go. Final minute. And if Flipside can find the win right here, this will be the 3-0 defeat of Dignitas, who we saw take down the reigning world champs earlier today. Oh my goodness, Turbo nearly finds it. Mystic gets it away. Cookshire up into the corner. Full press coming through for Flipside. Mystic looking for goalies. Couldn't find Turbo quite yet, and he needed to, because Turbo finds Violet Panda for a quick Transition counterattack. Cookser had the wide rotation and gets the clear. 30 seconds remaining. Now it's hard to pick between which match to watch because they're both dominant. So we're going to pull them up both for you guys. Wave, I'm going to have you dictate one. I will try to do the Energy <laughs> G2 one. Right now, 19 seconds left. It looks like we're about to be in two overtimes. Unless this goes in, here comes Mystic looking for the shot. Couldn't find an end of the shot for oh, Rizzo on the other game. Oh, they're back and forth. Anything could happen. It's madness in Rocket League. And also Afterthought and Chiefs are playing, by the way. 
<laughs> Poor guys getting left out of the action. Here comes Turbo. He can win the game, but this one will drop down. Oh, Cookster, he opts to keep it alive. Gets the flick over one. Shut down by Yukio. Into the dirt. It'll be overtime in two games at the same time. Back on the other side, you got Fireburner and the rest of the guys on energy up at the corner. They've been sustaining a ton of offense for the past 30 seconds. But G2 finally breaks out, puts a shot on target, but saved and put away. Not over yet. So you're going to see Chicago try to maintain some sort of possession, deciding to go for a dribble play, but well read by Energy's defense. Flip side right now up on offense. Back in the other side, the European battle. Don't get the clear away. Chicago now up, looking to finish the game for G2 and stay alive in that series. G2 and Dignitas, both the teams that they need victories right now. Otherwise, they will be swept. Here's the shot from Mystic and in. Flipside secure that one, the sweep of Dignitas. And we can go watch G2 NRG here. Let's check out the rest of this game. Excited to watch it. 447 left to go in it. Fireburner. Looking for this JNAPS. Where's the back, Garrett G? Get it away, Chicago up. The pass to JNAPS blocked what by Garrett. What a save by Garrett. Keeping him alive as they cross the five minute mark. Two games of Rocket League they've played here in game three. JNAPS, Duncan one, trying to get it past two. Garrett G with the chase. Putting it out, Rizzo won't be able to get there. Garrett G gets demolished on the rotation. Here comes Chicago, now up into the corner. Rizzo looking for the bumps, trying to open up space for his new teammate. He'll get it into the midfield. Can JNAPS find the shot for the win? No, Justin shuts him down. And Rizzo with the follow-up. Fireburner's got it, but there's Chicago. Garrett G just gets in the way, just stands up there. And Chicago's like, I have no shot. I'm going to have to leave it. It's been a complete change of pace as well for G2. As soon as Chicago starts working in those dribbles, it's buying that little bit extra time for his teammates to get boost, get in a better position, try to get a sharper angle on some of these shots. But Energy, their defense has been phenomenal all day long, holding off just about everything. NRG's just been playing lights out Rock League. Here at WSOEM, excited. See where they go, Justin over the top of one. Chicago falling back. Will be the first line of defense. All the way back down to NRG's half. Garrett G out of the corner. JNAP's challenging. Gets a pass one. Rizzo's there. Now up on the backboard. JNAP's looking to drop to Chicago, who should be coming crashing in, but it's overtime. He's going to play cautious. He hangs back and then comes in to keep the pressure on. Garrett G out to Justin. JNAP's into the middle. Fireburner with the clear out to Justin. Looking for the midfield shot. Blocked at the point of contact. 624 in overtime. We're still going. What a pre jump to come up and stop that from getting out. Just able to read that from so far away. As a pass back into the midfield should be met. No, they're actually going to back off completely. It looks like they need boost desperately. Garrett G trying. JNAP's shutting them down. Fireburner. Pass one. The pass infield from Rizzo. Garrett's there. He and Justin right on top of it, and they win. Down to the corner. Bouncing nice and juicy in front of the goal. Oh, that Fireburner missed. Garrett G looking for the follow up here, but having to play safe as JNAP's is pressuring him. He'll make the block. That could have been the end. This is NRG's second seven-minute overtime of the day. These guys have been playing absolutely insane. If they win this one, they'll stay at 3-0. But you see there, Flipside now up on top of their group. A 3-1. and one. Looking nice and pretty for tomorrow. Fireburner getting this one down. Justin. The miss, and you got to wonder, are the players starting to get tired? It's been a long time. That first seven-minute overtime was the first match of the day. This is after hours of playing Rocket League. Energy's having to do it a second time. And here comes another shot. Justin flying across the goal, makes the first one, gets it past another one. Flying down the field, it's up against Chicago. Puts it into the corner, but Fireburner's there. Onto the backboard, where is Garrett G? Jane Apps will send it to the side. Garrett's lurking in the midfield, looking for his opportunity to move in. Now it's a strike into the mid. Gives the ball to Chicago, who will be able to get the nice clear down the field. Seven minutes and 55 seconds, looking for eight minutes of overtime now. As G2 trying to end it right here. Get into game four. Oh, my goodness. You can see these guys priority boost over the ball. They have to trust in their teammates on defense, but they know they can't sustain it as a shot. Saved again by Rizzo, something G2 does so well. Is we're trusting on him. He shows up huge in land performances, but something I would love to see is the demos. They've been gone for a while. These guys playing a little bit more safe oh. as the follow up there again. Back and forth we go. Justin trying over and over again. An absolutely miraculous pass he had. And the defense of G2 held on. And then more opportunities time and time again. 
Energy nearly winning in every time G2 is there to meet them. Fireburner with the long clear over the top of the back line. The goal is not on target. They're going to need some help. Fireburner puts it into the box. Justin can't get there as he gets beat out by Janaps. But the follow from Garrett G beat by Janaps again. And Fireburner finally finishes it off. Oh my goodness. It took all three players, all three shots. Janaps could only save so much. Holy cow, Garrett G and company staying perfect here. It was the aggression coming out on that back end, everybody getting involved, and then Fireburner forcing his way with that last defender. He cuts him inside and then gets the follow-up. They put it away. Energy looking great. The first overtime against TSM was 7.22. That one almost eight and a half, if not more. Energy's played like 16 minutes of overtime in two games. It's too much. Two games. It's too much. It's an extra three plus matches. Absolutely absurd. Multiple players nearly breaking a thousand score here in this game. Six saves from Chicago and Justin. Nine shots from Nine, Justin. Ten shots from J Naps. I mean, and this, this is what happens when you play nearly three games there. But folks, Afterthoughts and Chiefs going on as well. Check in with them over at game four. Excited to see how this one's going. Both these guys still looking for their first win. They have to win here, and they have to win out the entire day. They want to dream of seeing Sunday gameplay. Right now, Chiefs with a lead. This is the last one we have to check in with. Afterthought, they took the win in game three. Now here in game four trying to piece together a victory. Some to hang their hat on. That one, not exactly the pit you wanted. They were trying to get the pass out. Chiefs couldn't quite find it in shocks. Like, thank you so much, appreciate it. I'll put one in. Afterthought, tying it up. A Little bit risky of a play to move up, but obviously when it works out, you see the counterattack capabilities. Pass on the midfield, easily read. It's something that Chiefs tried for so long to make sure to catch up after coming into the United States and playing in season four. But now they have to find Woo. ways to get more creative, but a good shot on target might do it as well. Kami getting the goal, putting them up by one. Chiefs coming right back. Shock tried. Kami's right there. Excellent placement. All of the defense over kind of in the corner together. Nobody really in a good position to block that. The Chiefs will punish here. 2-0-2, game four. Kami out of the corner, Torsos gets one. Hoxer. Trying to dribble. Torsoskis has the win. And here comes crashing in Zen onto the backboard once more. Can Hoxer find some interference as the shot comes through from Kami? Here comes Torsos with the follow up again. Doesn't quite find it. Now it's just Zen against Mist. He's backwards and low on boost, but still makes the stop. And Torsos in to continue to play. The pass across to Kami looking for the shot. Drops it in. Oh, it hits the crossbar. A beautiful counterattack. Zen tries to find the finish. Here comes Torsos once more. And no, it's still the defensive afterthought holds on. Still great pressure coming in from Chiefs. So the initial touch from Zen able to stop it. But a dunk by Hoxer. What are you doing? Back and forth. Lightning play from these guys. Shot gets it all the way down. Zen tries to find it, and Hoxer's got him red from a mile away. Puts it in and ties the game right back up. Great play by Afterthought. Not wasting time. They understand that it's do or die. They need to make a statement here. As for Chiefs, obviously trying to find where is Zen going to fit. How are we going to get him into our rotation? It's been good aggression so far. Oh. But slow play saved by Zen. Hoxer was looking, prowling for the goalie. He had made it some space. But Zen gets work done. A crazy kickoff, too. Very neutral kickoff from both teams. It was missed that emerged with ball control. And a prime opportunity to score. Still tied up. Final minute of game four. Afterthought, they find the victory here in this one. They can hang up a W on the wall. Missed pass across to Hoxer, blocked by Kami. A great shot. Torsos trying. Hoxer up again. Dropping it back down. The Hoxer out of the corner. Look at this, just by himself, doing so much work to dismantle everything Chiefs has thrown at him. Torsos is clear, he's not quite there. Zen will have to make the play, and he does, but it's out to Hoxer. He puts it in. 30 seconds remaining. Afterthought, 30 seconds away from a win. It just seems to be, no matter what Afterthought does, if there's a challenge, there's someone immediately there to follow up. I got the chance to sit down and talk with Shock and basically be like, what is it like? And he's like, all these teams are on a whole new level of fast. We have no idea how to handle it. They're handling it absolutely perfect here. They're actually playing faster than Chiefs, and it's yeah. showing why. That's sort of positioning. You have to be multiple steps ahead of your opponents. Right now, Afterthought's doing exactly that. Chiefs. Another one. Having to find it. Is this in? It's just in. The nail in the coffin. 14 seconds left. 
an afterthought. They can say they beat somebody here. It's just tough. You see, I think it's Torsos, the one in that Dominus cheating, trying to get that challenge. Not the best challenge. He's just too far away to make it in the first place. But that kind of happens. When you're down by one, you need to make something happen. You play this over-aggressive style. You don't make the best decision. You're just trying to make the fastest decision. And he gets punished for it here. It looks like Afterthought is going to be able to do it, maybe with an extra one, depending on how Mist handles this one. Okay, congratulations to them. Out to Zen, out to Torsos to keep it alive a little bit, but they'll put it down themselves. Concede the defeat, Afterthought, in four games. And take that win. Feel good about that. Both these teams still have some Rocket League to play. Both have more opportunities to get some wins, but the hope's still alive here for Afterthought. Yeah, I talked about them. They're big two that they're trying to get wins off of. Flipside Tactics and Chiefs, they do it here. Obviously getting pretty excited about that victory. The first one under their belt, especially at an international competition like this one. There's something about these bubble team players that is very difficult to read because they kind of play with no consequence. They just chase like crazy and apply all this aggression, but they're very punishable with counterattacks. Unfortunately, Chiefs can't do it here. Yeah, you see there, Zen doing so much work for his team. You see him getting involved on the ball a lot, even though he wasn't scoring. Chiefs really trying to work together as a team to make it happen, but afterthought, my goodness, they come